Welcome to CAT's tutorials and in this video we're going to be covering practice problem 4.13. Now you're asked to find uh, the load uh, resistance which will give us maximum power as well as the value of the maximum power. Right? So for maximum power we do know that, um, let's write it here, RL has to be equals to RTH. So we are essentially going to find RTH. Now this is what we do, we turn off any independent sources which we have and we leave uh, the dependent sources intact. So we only have one independent source, only have one dependent source. So removing this voltage source will lead to a short circuit. So we are finding RTH. We are finding RTH, we'll have a short circuit where there was the 9 volt uh, voltage source. Then we will have this. And now since we have a dependent source, we are going to introduce a test source at the terminals, right? So introduce a test source of one volt and indicate that going up. Then we are going to say that RTH is equal to VO divided by IO. And this VO is essentially um, one. Since we chose it to be one, so the answer to RTH would be one divided by IO. So now, which means we are now interested in finding IO. So let's find IO. Let's call this V, right? Calling that V, we are basically going to continue to solve this problem and say um, V divided by 12 um, plus V subtract 3VX divided by 1. And then plus V subtract 1 divided by 4 is equal to 0. We now have Vx here. We do not know what Vx is. But if you look here, V is across this 2 ohm resistor. From that point from that point to ground, we have V. But from that same point to that point, we have negative Vx, which means V is equal to negative Vx. Because the positive terminal of V is at the top where there is the negative terminal Vx, which means V is equal to negative Vx. So where we have uh, Vx, we're actually going to put uh, negative V, but we already have a negative there. So we can just group that and say, this is plus three multiplied by negative Vx. So we can just put V over there, right? So this is what we have, V divided by two plus uh, V plus three V. We can just substitute and say this is negative V and then it's going to lead to that positive sign as well. Whichever way you use, it should give you this. And this is what we have. We're going to multiply through by 4. Multiplying through by 4, we're going to have 2V plus um, 4V plus 12V. I should have just added these two. This is 4 multiplied by 4 again is going to be 16, which is the same as that. And then finally, you're going to have V Subtract 1 is equal to 0. Now adding the Vs, we have 2, this is 6, this is 18, and adding that, we have 19V, is equal to 1, right? And so V is essentially equal to 1 divided by 19 volts. But we aren't done uh, solving the problem. We are actually interested in finding IO in this case. And what is IO? If you look at IO, IO is actually 1 subtract V divided by 4. So 1 subtract V divided by 4, that is IO. So IO is essentially equals to, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. IO is essentially equals to 1, subtract 1 over 19, which is the V which we found, and then divided by 4. Now punching that into your calculator, we give you, let me do that quickly. So we have 1 subtract 1 over 19 divided by 4, the answer to that is uh, 9 over 38, which can be simplified in decimal form to be, um, uh, let's leave it like that for now. So 9 over 38 amperes, that is your IO. Now finding RTH, we're going to say 1 divided by 9 over 38, which is equal to 38 over 9. Now this we can punch into a calculator. So 38 divided by 9 is equal to 4.222 uh, ohms. And that is your RTH, and that is your, which is equals to RL. Since RL is equals to RTH for maximum power, right?
So that is your answer for the first part of the question. Now moving on to the second part of the question. The second part of the question asks us to find the maximum power. Since we said that this uh, resistance is going to be the resistance of the load for maximum power, now they're asking, what then is that maximum power which you say you've got, right? So this is what we have. Let me just write it at the top, just so we have the answer. So RTH is 4.22 ohms, right? And maximum power, the formula for maximum power is VTH squared divided by 4 RTH, right? So since this is our formula, we have RTH, but we do not have VTH. So let's proceed to find VTH. So finding VTH, VTH is the... Um, it's the open circuit voltage, right? It's the open circuit voltage of the terminals. So VTH is over here. Removing that, right? So you're interested in finding this VTH over here, right? So that's what we're going to find. Let's proceed to finding that. So here's what I'm going to do quickly. I'm just going to do mesh analysis, but you can use any other method. VTH is essentially uh, this. This is essentially parallel to that because there's no current there. Or you can use uh, nodal analysis, whatever method. But let's just basically go through that. Let's call it I. So VX is equals to VX, this. It's equals to, let's see, let's see, let's see, 2I, right? And going around the loop, we're going to have negative 9 plus 2I plus um, I. And then plus 3VX is equals to 0. But we said that VX is equals to 2I, so we're going to substitute it there. So we're going to have negative uh, 9 plus 3I plus 3 multiplied by 2I is equals to 0. So this is 6I and this is 3. So we're going to have 9I, right? So 9I is equals to 9, which means I is equals to 1 ampere. So now this I uh, is going to give us VX, actually, because VX is equals to 2I. 2i, right, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 2 volts. So we know for sure that Vx is equal to 2 volts, and we're interested in finding this, we're interested in finding Vth. So going around the, the Vth loop, we're going to say, so going around this loop, we're going to say negative 3Vx plus whatever current which is going through there, which is i. Um, so but in this case, we're going in the opposite direction to i. i multiplied by 1, right? The negative of that is negative i. Then we're going to say plus vth, right? So vth is essentially equals to 3vx plus i. So vth is equals to 3. We find vx to be 2. So we're going to substitute 2. And then we're going to say i. What is the value of i? We find i to be 1. So we're going to say plus 1. So VTH is 7 volts, right? So we now have our VTH. Then we're going to proceed to find the maximum power. So the maximum power is VTH squared. So 7 squared divided by 4 multiplied by RTH, which is 4.22. So punching that into your calculator, you get a P max of, let's see. So 7 squared, um, 7 squared divided by 4 multiplied by 4.222. You have a value of... 2.901 watts as your maximum power. And that is how you solve this problem.